This is Videotech, where every week we try to help you maximize your online marketing efforts no matter what size business you have. I'm Scott Combs. A salesperson from a website design firm has been trying to get me on the phone so she can tell me all about her company's custom website design services. Since we develop websites, I pretty much ignored her, but she persisted. I got tired of being pestered and sent her a quick note asking, what is it you think my company does? Her response? Hi, Scott. Not just websites, but building online showcases for companies is what we are passionate about. This gal was obviously working from an email list someone scraped off the web, and even though she claimed she'd run across our company, it was obvious she didn't know the first thing about us. Plus, she didn't read my note very carefully and assumed I was asking what her company did. The non sequitur I received told me she really hadn't read my note. Marketing and sales on the internet are about connection more than ever before, and the best connections are genuine and straightforward. You have to do your homework and actually listen to your prospects. If you're perceived as being disingenuous, you're in trouble. Now that my BS detector had been activated, I decided to peruse the company website. They aren't kidding when they say they build showcases. Their sites are very, very good looking, obviously built on WordPress templates, and that's pretty much where it ends. Good looking websites, stunning graphics, shallow content. They believe a showcase website will capture visitors and begin the engagement process, and they're right, to a point. A lousy website will lose new visitors in a heartbeat, but a site that's all image and no substance will lose them nearly as fast when people can't find enough of what they're looking for quickly. Research and Google tell us people want content. They want information, education, and maybe a little entertainment. I wanted to know how much this company charged for their services, so I asked via email. The salesperson's response was to request a phone call, so I called her direct line, which was disconnected. Oops. Then I got a note from her sales director, who wasn't sure how much a particular site costed, but the sites I'd seen ranged from $6,000 to $30,000 or so. Here's their process in a nutshell. Site design and implementation. Once that's approved, they work with you to fill all the holes with text and images. Not much of a plan for content, which is the real key if you want to have a successful website. Without great content, the prettiest website in the world is dead on arrival. The point of all this? Know who you're talking to. Do your homework. Be honest and straightforward. Show prospective clients you care enough to spend time getting to know about them. Treat those relationships carefully. Bad impressions are really hard to turn around. And the final takeaway? If someone wants to charge you upwards of $30,000 for a website with pretty pictures and no content strategy, run. If you're in business on the web, you need a website that works for you. And the thing that does the work is your content. Google and everybody else says so. If you like our stuff, please click the subscribe button and share us with your friends. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment on the blog, at YouTube, or at the email address on the screen. Thanks for watching. Now get out and do something. <laughs>